What is up, my EBJJ comic fam? It's EBJJ comic nut coming at ya. Anyway, we got a titillating subject that we are going to hit you right on the head with. Boink! So, do me a favor. This is going to be non-PC inclusive, this video. So, if you are easily uh, offended, uh, if little things bother you, if your life... It's just one big itch and you can't scratch it. Do me a favor, get the fuck out right now because this is going to be crazy offensive for you. And <clears throat> I don't want to offend you, but it's something that I want to talk about. And again, it's my channel, so I have that fucking right. Uh, <laughs> but before you go, do me a favor, go on the bottom, hit that subscribe, hit that like, and hit that notification bell. You might not like all of my videos, but you definitely gonna like some of them. So with that being said, we're going to be right back after the intro. It's EBJJ Comic Night, and we are back with some more drama for your mama. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! What is up? We are back, and I just changed that intro. Hope you guys like that. My daughter was doing one doing that. She's freaking up all. She's crazy. Uh, so whenever we got drama for your mama, what we're going to do is we're going to drop that one. The other one's going to be for my Twitter reviews, comic book reviews, and other sorts of things like that. Again, really quick, before you do anything, before you go forward and before you go on, go to the bottom. Not for anything else, hit like for the gram, baby. And then after that, hit that notification bell. So that way when I'm uploading another video, it'll notify your cell phone. You can get right on it and watch one of my crazy ass videos. If you like the reviews that we do on toys and collectibles and all that good stuff, then, you know, that's for you, too, you know, and if you like just what I'm shit-talking and doing drama for your mama, bite. we can do that, too, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be getting into something that's a little bit sensitive for most people, uh, it's about that t Twitch Safety Advisory Council, which I'm going to dub, uh, Ministry of Propaganda. That's where we're going to dub them because they're just full of shit. Uh, the reason I'm saying that, and we're going to talk about one individual in particular. Uh, that whole situation to me is just crazy. Don't have to agree with me. It's my opinion. All righty. Let's go to... Bam. Let's start over here. Tech Times. Twitch creates safety advisory council, but one of them is under fire after suggesting removal of voice chats. Why the fuck should we be removing voice chats because of freaking people who are just so sensitive? If you don't like when people are talking crap to you, you know what you do? You just mute that shit. If you have friends that are online, create a party so you can chat amongst themselves. Because if you're going to, you know, if you're playing Call of Duty or some other game, you can definitely do that. If you're playing it on, on uh, PC, if you're playing it on PlayStation 4, the Xbox, it all has those capabilities. So if you don't want to hear some asshole screaming and yelling in your ear, then just pause them. Mute those motherfuckers is what you do. Anyway, <clears throat> streaming community is in chaos today as one of the new members of Amazon-owned Twitch's Safety Advisory Council suggests that multiplayer games remove their voice chats as it creates an uneven playing field. Twitch Council member under fire, according to report Dextero, the member that drew the ire of the Twitch streaming community is a popular streamer herself, for, uh, ferociously Steph. During a May 14th broadcast, the streamer said that the voice chat is unfair, suggested that the only way to have a level playing field on highest play is not to have voice chat, to not have people give up their linguistic profiles. She says, also she, she adds cis white males. And, and the funny thing is, is that I've talked to people who are black that sound white as fuck. I've talked to white guys who sound like they're black. I've talked to white guys who sound like they're Latin. Latin guys who sound like they're white. Females also. So just by listening to somebody's voice, there is no way in hell that you're going to figure out what they are. I don't know if my voice sounds like what I should look like. It probably doesn't, though. As soon as a broadcast happened, the community quickly responded with the majority of her fellow streamers disputing her claims. Which is true. I don't believe in, in what she's saying. Streaming community disagrees. Among them, World of Warcraft star Asmund Gold, who even suggested that Twitch might have made a big mistake by adding ferociously Steph to the council, judging by the clips and content he has seen. He even said that it would be that it would only discredit the effort. I, I kind of agree with that as well. Fellow video game uh, streamer Panda supported his statement and even said that it did not have anything to do with gender nor race and was simply due to a bad take on comms. 
Soon after, the council member in question responded to criticism and posted on her official Twitter account. Yeah, whole sick lot of people with cis white voices thinking voice chat is critical to competitive games being competitive. Oh yeah, a whole lot of people with cis white males thinking voice is critical to competitive games being competitive. Why was that read twice? Tell me more about how we'll solve systematic misogyny and everything will be fine. Uh, this was not the first streamer suggested from her voice chats. In 2018, she also did that as well. Uh, forming the safety council and Amazon on streamer, made, uh, bah, bah, drafting new policies. So in one of her videos, she said that she had no power to do anything. She had no power to make any rules, regulations, or anything. But one of the facets of the council is drafting new policies and policy updates. If you go up to their websites, which I should have kept up here. Um, I will link it below so that way you can see that there's actual proof that I'm not just talking shit out my ass, but you'll see what one of the things that in their website, it says that they are going to do, uh, which is again, drafting new policies and policy updates. Um, <clears throat> identifying emerging trends that could impact the Twitch experience, developing features and products that improve safety and moderation. So in my opinion, if you're going to set up an you know a group of people like that, I think all of them should either be, uh, all of them, number one, should be gamers and utilize Twitch in some which way or another, just like they did, but they should all have some sort of psychological degree, a criminology degree, some sort of PhD in, in, in a doctorate of in that lane to understand the psyche of the human and why they do certain things. She doesn't fucking understand any of that, man. She just has this crazy thing. Try it when you use your voice in the game uh people are going to hate you yeah you know what it's called playing fucking sports it's an e-sport i played football and uh when i played football i talked a lot of shit i'm not white can you tell uh i had a lot of buddies on my team that were white and they talked a lot of shit too I had a couple black kids on my team they talked a lot of shit too we had a, I think, yeah, we had one Indian kid. He was actually the kicker. He talked a ton of shit. So it's just part of the sports. If you can't, my mommy told me, if you can't handle the heat, get out the kitchen, boy. So you know what? If you don't like what people are saying, you do have the option to mute or do a, uh, what is it, a, a party, chat party. According to uh, Engage It, the council is made up of eight people, with four of them as popular streamers and platform, including, of course, uh, Firstly, Steph, alongside the veteran of Wall Streamer, uh, Cole Carnage, Zizaran, and Cup of Noodle, which I think Cup of Noodle is pretty awesome. I think all of those guys are pretty awesome. But, you know, uh, one of the things I can be pissed off is I'm marginalized too. I don't see any Latin individuals, although there is a brother up there, but I don't see any Latins representing us. We have someone who is of the rainbow uh, ethnicity group, uh, you know, LGBT. I'm uh, sorry, man. They added some more letters to it. That's why I almost screwed up. So, not that I'm being insensitive. I just have one of the last letters. LGBTQ. Uh, whatever. Meanwhile, the other members include T.L. Taylor, the author of the book Watch Me Play, which tackles video game streaming and Twitch. They're also head nonprofit, including Emma Lazo, Center of Democracy and Technology, Free Expression Project, Alex Holmes, CEO of the N Award, and Dr. Samir Hindajo, a doctor. Nice. And the co director of Cyberbullying Research. She. That's who you need down there. That's perfect. Uh, when just created the council, they wanted to exclude experts, provide a professional experience, team stream it. So, again, uh, let's go to the next one. Dude, she's like, they're just hitting her hard. The council formed included, blah, blah, blah. It's the same crap from the other one. She said that she eventually harassed him, bulking online. They, yeah, people have been hitting her hard. So let's close these bad boys out. And let's go up to the top here. I should have that already. Sorry about that, guys. The streaming community is an uproar after a member of the Twitch new safety advisory council called for multiplayer games to remove voice chat functionality because of the uneven playing field it creates. Again, I can that can be farther from the truth. Again, if you don't like it, just fucking mute it, man. Twitch announced a new safety council. A person's Twitch staff has completely lost it. Don Hatsy says, remove voice chat from the highest level for giving unfair advantage. Voice chat is unfair. What the fuck? Oh, let's see what she says. The only way to have a level playing field at the highest level of play is to have is 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 to not have voice chat, to not have people give up their linguistic profiles. I mean, and maybe you maybe you think 
you know, if, if you are a competitive gamer, which a lot of people have been like, stop, you're not, a, you know, you clearly know nothing about competitive play. Well, competition, by the way, y'all, competition requires you to get every advantage possible. Okay, that's why it's called competitive. You're right about the that. top 0.01% in any video game. Which you're not you part have of. To, you have to get, squeeze every amount of, of advantage you can possibly get. Voice chat is unfair. <laughs> Man, you know what? I'm, this new PC age bullshit got me off the fucking chain. You know what? Everybody's delicate. Everybody's soft. Everybody gets hurt. Everybody's feelings are fucked. You know what, man? When I grew up, man, somebody said something to you, you just fucking took it and you just like a grain of salt. It didn't mean shit. You know why? Because number one, you didn't know who the fuck they were, so you don't care what they, their opinion was of you. You didn't know them. They didn't feed you. They didn't pay your bills. They didn't sleep with you at nighttime next to you. You know, like my wife says something to me. I'm gonna be like, damn, man, I gotta, you know, maybe I gotta listen to her. You know, maybe she's onto something here. It, you know when somebody's correct, you know. But if my wife is on left field talking mad shit about something that has nothing to do with anything, I'm like, man, did you take your fucking pills today? She's not on pills, but you know, I would say something like that because I'm a smart ass. So just get the fuck over it, man. You know why is everything gotta be fucking an issue? Why does everything have to be fucking? Oh, he hurt my feelings. She hurt my feelings. Or, or he's not taking my feelings into account. I don't give a fuck about your feelings, man. You shouldn't care about mine either because I don't give a fuck if you do or not. I don't know you. If you're a family member or a friend of mine and you hurt my feelings, that's something because you're an individual who's close to me. But if you're a passerby or you're in a fucking lobby talking a shit to me, I don't give a fuck. Why should I care? I don't know you, man. It's a goddamn game, dude. And you know what? What's funny is I have my son and my daughter. They play Call of Duty, and they are fucking beasts. They're they're better than me all the way. I mean, they straight murder me. I hate playing with them because every time I turn to a corner, it's like, oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Boom. Oh, I get pissed. I throw the fucking controller. I'm out of here. I leave the basement, go upstairs, go get a beer. And they're like, Dad, you want to keep it? Nah, fuck you. I don't want to play with you anymore. Anyway, my daughter and my son are those kids that you fucking hate because they're in the lobby talking shit. They won't curse, you know, God forbid they're not allowed to curse, uh, but they'll, they'll talk shit because they understand that that's part of the goddamn game, you know what I'm saying? If you're weak and you let them get in your fucking head, you need a fucking new hobby. Don't play online games, you know, play some other shit. If you don't want somebody to talk shit, play Sims. That's a great game. Nobody's going to talk shit to you there in Sims. <laughs> fucking crazy, man. It seems, and here we go, uh, the streaming community responded nearly immediately with many disputing her claims of one big name, World of Warcraft, was Asmund suggested that, on, which we heard was a big mistake. Uh, Hyperion says, yeah, for sure. Doesn't seem like anything can go wrong here. It seems like a big mistake for them to have her on the council for the clips and content I've seen. It'll only serve to discredit the entire effort. Yep, fucking wacko. Oh, yeah, the whole, I already read that shit there. And Logic Van, you can go on your own now if you want to see that bullshit. Uh, here we have... I admit I'm skeptical of the, the Twitch Safety Advisory Council. I hope it will make the platform better. I worry that it will either be a tool for people on the council to assert their personal agendas. That's what I'm worried about too, their personal agendas, or that people on it will end up getting blamed for things they didn't do. I don't really give a shit if they get blamed for things they didn't do because they put themselves in a position of power, so fuck them. You know what I mean? Either you like it, get the fuck out, or, or watch your six, man. Protect your six at all times. You know, document everything you do and make sure you keep your mouth shut. Rehearse what you're going to say before you say it. Write down what you're going to say. I mean, really do what you got to do if you, because you're now you're in a prominent position, man. You know, people are, all eyes are on you. I'm more worried that they're going to push an agenda that we don't fucking want, that we don't even need. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. It doesn't seem like anything can go wrong here. Let's go down and see what some of these, uh, she's one of those, I'm always right, stay angry people. Uh, non-inclusive mechanics such as voice chat question mark question mark who is excluded from voice chat this is a personal community problem removing avenues of speech does not fix the problem as people playing video game together are likely to speak with one another or in or out of the game I actually play a game on my phone let me pull it up All right. it is called the last shelter survival it's on my phone and we don't have a voice. We have a chat. And motherfuckers talk shit on chat like crazy. So you're going to exclude that too, man? Oh, my God. All right. Here's one of the funny things here that I'm seeing is uh, right here. Um, this one, You're going to love this one. No, I just, I'm just not cool with white supremacy, y'all. As should no one. 
No one should be supreme over anyone because we're all fucking made equal in God's eyes. It's really not that. I think a lot of you gamers are actually white supremacists. So, I'm a gamer. I'm a white supremacist. In case you haven't noticed, I'm fucking brown, so I'm brown white supremacist. Yay. Let's let's listen to that shit again. Are actually white supremacist gamers. Are actually wh- I think a lot of you gamers are actually white supremacists. I think a lot of you gamers are actually I think a lot of you gamers. What the fuck is she talking about? Get the fuck out of here with that. Crazy. Um th- dude. <laughs> so she said that she had never said this. Uh, up here I have never and will ever say that most gamers are white supremacists white men have the most privilege when it comes to voice chat communication I don't fucking see how that is cause I kick ass man you know what I mean I'm fucking supreme when I go into a call of duty man I'm always coming in the top 5 and I talk mad shit but I don't I, don't, I really don't I don't, don't I don't see it man maybe I'm fucking blind and I'm just an idiot and, and that's just the way the ball bounces but I, I don't fucking see it um that's right here this Check this shit out. I wanted to go into this real quick, too. Uh, so she is a deer. You're not a fucking deer. Steph, you're a fucking human. I understand wanting to be, if you're a man being a woman or a woman, you want to be a man. Or if you're gay because you like men or you're lesbian because you like that. <clears throat> that's it. There's male, fucking female, and that's the motherfucker. it. Then there's everything else. What you want to be. Two genders and then everything else. You, you can't, you have a penis or a vagina. You're either male or female and you associate with something else. But you are fucking human. You can't associate being a fucking deer. This, yo, that's, this is another thing. It's just a fucking quackpot going outside fucking eating grass. Come on, man. Here. <clears throat> other kin. Nah, that was a long one. Other kin are a subculture who socially and spiritually identify as not entirely human. Some other can claim that their identity is genetic, while others believe their identity derives from reincarnation, trans species, dysphoria of the soul, ancestry, or metaphor. Get the fuck out of here, man. That, that's, to me, is fucking lunacy. It's just crazy. <clears throat> this shit is getting too far. It's going too far. <clears throat> so check this shit out, dude. This is what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? First of all, a fucking deer is not going to let you pet them. They're going to run off. That's number one. Uh, I forgot what they call this. People are killing I have autism. I say straight on the very pond. Blah, blah, blah. Behold, the degenerate and unnatural in their natural environment sitting in front of a camera desperate for attention. This is who decides if you're being a meanie. I fucking agree with that. What the fuck is wrong with this person? This is what mental illness look like. Yeah. Man, you know what I mean? It, people are just... Some people are being really mean. I don't agree that, with that, but... I'm not being that light either. Yeah, it's just... I, wait, it's bottom line, man. Let me just X out of this shit and give you my last little... Rant. Crazy's cool, man. Crazy's cool as shit to go drink with. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm gonna get another one. Mm. <laughs> but crazy's definitively not cool to be my boss. In fact, if I know you're fucking crazy, I'm not gonna apply there. I am my own boss, by the way. But if I know you're fucking crazy, I'm not gonna hire you because I don't even want you working for me. But I damn sure will go drinking with you because you're fucking crazy. And crazy people are cool to drink with. But that's about it. You know what I'm saying? This is an individual who should not be in charge of what the fuck we do on Twitch. They should not be drafting policy or doing policy updates. This is a person that should be far, 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 far away from a position of power. 
Now, I don't want anybody to think that I'm saying this because she's transgender. That is not why I'm saying it. Because I have tons of transgender friends, gay friends that actually come over to the house, they hang out with me and my wife, they drink, they, they, they've adopted kids, they play with our kids. I don't have a problem with that. They're not fucking crazy. I mean, they've got their own thing, their own life issues, but you can sit down and have a civil conversation. They're not going to try to fucking lick you because they think they're goddamn deer or run outside of your house and start eating your fucking grass. You know what I'm saying? They're within norms that are acceptable. You know, again, when you give them a cup of beer, they get fucking nuts, but that's because you're drinking. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this girl is gone off the fucking deep end. And Twitch, I'm going to look at you, Twitch, and I'm going to tell you, you fucked up with this one. So I guarantee nobody's going to be watching this that's from Twitch, but I'm still off my chest onto you, into your fucking ears. You have fucked up with this one, man. With that being said, it's your boy EJJ Comic Buck and <laughs> can't even talk, boy. It's your boy EBJJ Comic Nut, and this has been another drama for your mama. Peace. Hey, she's fucking crazy, man. Twitch, what the fuck are you doing? Twitch, stop it. You're fucking crazy. Get, man, you gotta put normal people on there who know what the fuck they're doing, man. Hi, right, man. Hey, subscribe. And watch another fucking video. Subscribe. 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 And watch another video, man. I right. Peace.